Hi everybody, in this video I want to talk about signs of fractions, but before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about the relationship between division and fractions. So let's say you're at a birthday party, and there are three cookies at the party, but there are four kids at the party. So it's a pretty lousy party, they didn't uh, buy enough cookies for all the kids. But you, uh, everybody at the party wants to be fair, and uh, everybody wants to have the same amount uh, to eat. So how could you divide these three cookies fairly between the four kids at the party? How much uh, would each kid get? So you can pause the video and think about that for a second. We're trying to figure out what three divided by four is equal to, not as a decimal, but as a fraction. What would that be? All right, so here is the answer. I painted the kids' faces, so let's pretend it's a face painting par uh, birthday party um, so we can better see the answer to this problem. So this kid, so each of the cookies has been split up into four equal pieces, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and each kid is getting three of those pieces. So these three to this kid, these three to this kid, these three to this kid. So each kid is getting three fourths of a cookie. So the answer to this problem over here, three divided by four, is that three divided by four is equal to three fourths. If we take three of something and split it equally into four pieces, then each piece would be three fourths of a whole. And it works with all numbers, not just three and four. So for example, if there were five cookies at the party and there were eight kids and we wanted to divide those five cookies evenly between the eight kids, each kid, and you can maybe draw a picture yourself to convince yourself, each kid would receive five eighths of a cookie. And that's why the fraction bar and the division symbol can be used interchangeably. Uh, for example, I can write a fraction three-fourths, and I can look at that fraction and actually think of it as a fraction. The fraction three-fourths meaning uh, I have a cookie and it's split up into four equal pieces, and <clears throat> maybe I ate three of those pieces. Or I could look at this as division three divided by four. Why am I allowed to do that? Because three fourths is the answer to the division problem with those same numbers, three and four. Three divided by four is equal to three fourths. And similarly for uh, any other numbers. All right, so now that we understand that, let me move on to really the main topic of this video, which is signs of fractions. So we're talking about positives and negatives here. All right, so take a look at these fractions and keep in mind that the fraction bar um, can also be used to mean division. And I want you to pause the video and try to figure out which of these fractions are equal to each other. Did you try it? Okay, so to answer that, we need to remember the rules for dividing uh, with negative numbers, which are the same as the rules for multiplying with negative numbers. If we have the same signs, then the answer is positive. If we have different signs, then the answer is negative. And that's why the fraction bar and the division symbol can be used interchangeably uh, for example, I can write a fraction three-fourths and I can look at that fraction and actually think of it as a fraction. The fraction three-fourths meaning uh, I have a cookie and it's split up into four equal pieces and <clears throat> maybe I ate three of those pieces. Or I could look at this as division three divided by four why am I allowed to do that? Because three-fourths is the answer to the division problem with those same numbers, three and four. Three divided by four is equal to three-fourths. And similarly for uh, any other numbers. All right, so now that we understand that, let me move on to really the main topic 
of this video, which is signs of fractions. So we're talking about positives and negatives here. All right, so take a look at these fractions and keep in mind that the fraction bar um, can also be used to mean division. And I want you to pause the video and try to figure out which of these fractions are equal to each other. Did you try it? Okay, so to answer that, we need to remember the rules for dividing uh, with negative numbers, which are the same as the rules for multiplying with negative numbers. If we have the same signs, then the answer is positive. If we have different signs, then the answer is negative. So over here uh, in this first fraction, we have a positive divided by, because we're thinking of the fraction bar as division, a positive divided by a negative. So we have different signs here. So this fraction is negative. I'm going to just write an N here to mean negative. For this one, we have a negative divided by a positive. Again, we have different signs. So this fraction would be negative. Here we have a negative divided by a negative. Does that make the fraction super negative? No, that makes it positive because we have the same signs here. So whenever we have the same signs and we're dividing or multiplying, the answer is positive. I'm going to write a P for positive. Here we have a positive three divided by positive four. Again, we have the same signs. This is also a positive fraction. And here we have positive three divided by positive four. So this part is positive, but then we have a negative symbol in front of it, which means that we're changing the sign of the whole fraction. So this whole thing is uh, actually means just what it looks like, negative three fourths. So this is negative. All right, so it looks like these three, one, two, three are equal to each other. I'll just write that down here with an uh, equality symbol between all three of them. So three over negative four is the same as negative three over positive four, which is the same as negative three fourths. Okay, and these two are also equal to each other. So negative three over negative four is actually the same thing as just three over four. Negative three over ne negative four is the same as three fourths, okay? Um, everything, every fraction here, this one, this one, and this one, uh, is negative, and every fraction here, this one and this one, is positive. So just remember that two negatives is the same as no negatives when we're talking about fractions. In other words, if I see a fraction with two negatives, a negative in the numerator and a negative in the denominator, that's the same thing as a fraction with no negatives because both of these fractions are actually positive. They're equal to positive three-fourths. And another thing to keep in mind is that one negative can be put anywhere. So if I see a fraction with uh, a negative symbol in the denominator, I can sort of take that denominator and put it into the numerator or just put it out in front, and it all means the same thing. It all means negative three-fourths. Okay, so uh, that's it. These rules follow uh, pretty directly from the rules for dividing with negative numbers. Um, yeah, so that's it, and have a great day.